Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day. If not, I hope I can make it a little better. We've made it to day 12, the final day of the Arteza 12 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar. Shall we open it up and see what our last day will be? Okie dokie, day 12 is down here. It's very small. I genuinely have no idea what it could be, so ooh, let's find out. Uh, oh, is it a pot of something maybe? It's, huh, okay. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh. Okay, here we go. Damn it. It's coming. <gasps> okay. It is oh, so sparkly. It is glitter. <sighs> and let's see what it has to say. Uh, Day 12, Glitter Jar Silver. This doesn't have to be the end. Shop the collection and there's a QR code. Cheeky. <laughs> Cheeky Arteza. <laughs> well, I can't really swatch glitter, but here you go. Here's a nice view of the glitter. So, here's everything we got from the Arteza 12 day holiday advent calendar. I thought it'd be fun to review everything we got. I I would say everything was pretty good quality. Uh, I, I was a little bit disappointed when the first day was a wood block with one single piece of string and a bit of ribbon which I thought was part of it but wasn't actually part of it. Um, <laughs> uh, things slowly improved as we got to the paints. I quite like those. So as far as I can tell they're nice acrylic paints. Um, the brushes are perfectly fine, um, they're an entirely plastic body with um, a man-made material brush fibres. Uh, they're quite light in the hand but they feel sturdy. We've got three paint markers which are perfectly fine for a Christmas theme. Uh, will they ever use them beyond a Christmas theme? Maybe. Uh, I think they'll complement my um, Posca marker collection quite well. Uh, we've got some glitter which I'll be honest uh, I can't really see me using. Um, yeah and a little pad which would have been nice to have received on either the first or the second day so we could have actually swatched the items on the paper to see if it all went together. Um, it seems like a perfectly fine pad. It is quite small though um, so you have to be good working small if you're going to use it. But you know what I thought would be most important of all? Would be to work out whether this calendar was actually of good value. So I've got some prices for you. So this is all going to be in pounds. So when I do prices, I usually just go on a currency converter to get either the prices in pounds or dollars. Um, but seeing as there is actually uh, an Arteza American shop, uh, you can just go and see the difference in prices yourself. <laughs> and I think honestly, you'll still understand whether you think the outcome is good value or not. Okay, just one thing to be aware of before I put the prices up, I'll put them up beside each of the items, is that Arteza tends to sell items in bulk. So like you can't just buy two wooden blocks. Um, these small ones came in a set of 45. So of course the value I put is not gonna be what you would pay. You would have to buy all 45. You couldn't just buy the two. Um, and of course when you bulk buy things are cheaper. So I am gonna be giving you the price if you had bought you were using two out of the 45 wood block set. Arteza has access to all of these in their bulk form. So I think it's only fair that I'm working them out um, how much they would have cost Arteza, seeing as it's not possible for me to work out how much they would sell for these individually because they don't sell any of these items individually. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so anyway, the wood slices cost a grand total of 84p. The paints, all five paints, came to a total of £5.83. The three brushes came to a total of £6. The three acrylic markers came to £4. 
the little pot of glitter uh, there wasn't really an equivalent to the little pot of glitter uh their sets of glitters were really like it was like 50 you got you got like 54 pots of glitters for a price and then they were like twice the size of this so i've been generous with them and i've just worked out how much one of their pots of glitter would have been and that came to 41p and once again they didn't have um an equivalent to this small pad so i had to do a little bit of fudging the maths and i kind of equate the the small acrylic or mixed media pad came to three pound 62. now if you add all that together that comes to a grand total excluding all the packaging of 20 pound 70 pence if you were to have bought this calendar on amazon.co.uk in 2022 when it was intended to be used you would have bought it for 59 pound 99 however it is now available on amazon.co.uk for 26 pound 99 Whereas, if you bought it directly from arteza.co.uk, it is currently on sale for £38.99. So, though I would say the majority of the items included are of good value, the calendar in itself is not good value, especially if you had forked out the almost £60 to buy it new. So, I would say, I don't know, be aware of that for next year when Arteza releases their next calendar. You get nice stuff, but maybe um, is the, the surprise aspect worth £40? Anyway, thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. I'd love to know what your thoughts were on this calendar. Do you think it was worth it? Would you uh, have paid the £60 for it? Would you be happy to pay the £26.99 for it now? Or give the money straight to Arteza? where it is £40. Let me know in the comment section below. If you could like, subscribe, turn on all notifications, share this video and leave a comment, that would be amazing. You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram and TikTok. Links will be in the description box below, as well as links to my online comic companions. And I'll see you next time, where we should probably make something with this stuff, huh? <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye!